Am I gonna just go to the wharf? Automatically. Hey, I gain more points. I'm already pressed for time as it is. Mother's waiting for me on the wharf. Well, I got one book I can read. When am I reading these books? Dang this stupid maze. I saw something on the other side of here. Ooh, nice. The skill check thing. That's like one of the best items, in my opinion. Man, I love going through this maze every time. I love it. Richer, no. sticking your nose everywhere again. Wow, <laughs> what's the matter with him? Excuse me, monsieur, I don't follow you. I haven't come all this way just to <laughs> fail so close to the goal. Why, what are you talking about? I am talking about what you are doing. This conference is going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaget and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep calm, please. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to cut this short, quick. Look, I don't know what you're going on about, and I don't have time for this right now. Don't think on getting rid of me so easily, Derichet. Where have you been? I'm still looking for my mother, if, if you can believe it. I've been in the manor basement. To check if she might have gone lost. And uh, did you find her? No, not a trace. I'm warning you, Derichet. I have got my eye on you. I'll soon figure out what you are up to. And I am convinced that you have indeed robbed Mortimer. The game is up. Give me what you took from him. You know, this is becoming an obsession with you. Show me what you are carrying, or I will call the servants. Very well. Fair is fair. You've exposed me. Here. This is what I took from him. Look, I'm sorry. I acted on a bizarre impulse. I don't know why, sir. And frankly, you have disappointed me. That said, it is not as bad as I thought it would be. Right. Yeah. We'll leave it there. I'm glad that things have been cleared up. So, are we finished here? Indeed we are. I shall leave you. That's right. Go play somewhere else. See you later, monsieur. <laughs> like how I could have hit him. Come on. I have to hurry up and join my mother at the wharf now. He scared me. I, he also didn't notice my arm. He also said nothing about my arm. He's the second person that has not even mentioned it. Why do I keep going this way? On accident. This isn't the way I mean to go. And yet I keep going this way. It's the side that has the big orb in it. Side with big orb. You think I picked the right one? What if I didn't pick the right one? Also, what if I wouldn't have won that thing? Would he have hit me? What would have happened? Is Super Pope's not still there? I thought I saw something. I did. Oh, yeah. Give me that. 
Give me that golden elixir. Oh, yeah. Give me those drugs or something. Hey, it's uh, this guy. This guy. I'm not going to talk to him. Because I got to go. Oh, we got a cutscene. Or not. Ah, Louis. Perfect timing. As luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. I'm gonna use my golden elixir. Oh, no. What if I don't? No, I'm running. Oh, it's... Come, the... we have to talk. The way in. No. Is he gonna Come say? closer, please. It's time we had a little chat. I wanted you. Oh no, your hand! Damn it, no! So that's it. She is prepared to use you. What do you mean? It wasn't enough for her to lose her hand. She had to make you lose yours too. I cannot permit this to continue. Louis, it's time you found out the truth. I've been observing you since you arrived. I see you running all over the grounds in the search of Sarah. I would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road. The wrong road? Louis, Sarah has made her own choices of her own free will, and I would like for you to have the same chance. You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory, about the demons. She's right. Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. For the last 602 years, I have been this dear William Mortimer. Lucifer, the fallen archangel, left heaven accompanied by 133,306,668 angels. Is it true that there are that many of you? No, I assure you, Louis. Forget your Bible class. It's ridiculous. We are not angels. We don't have wings. There is certainly nowhere near a million of us. And for that matter, no sacred human text represents us correctly. There are several families, and the family to which I belong has eight siblings, including Gregory and myself. Sir Gregory is your brother? Yes, what can I say? <laughs> you can't choose your family. But it is very difficult to know exactly how many of us there are because a large number of our kind remain hidden or never reveal themselves even to us. You've been Mortimer for 600 years? How long have the demons been among mankind? Oh, I don't think I'd be lying if I said that we have always been here. Yeah. And you truly have the power to manipulate the thoughts of men. That's right. Every demon has the capacity to infiltrate the minds of men and to read and steer their thoughts. Can you tell me more about your capacities, your supernatural powers? Supernatural? From my point of view, they are perfectly natural. Well, Louis, just because the monkey does not fly doesn't mean that we should consider the bird a supernatural creature. We are all part of a grand design. We are simply made like this. By developing our art, we are able to read thoughts as well as write in the minds of men. It is possible for us to make them bow to our desire, but it doesn't work without leaving some scars. And what do you do with this power? We help them, of course. Of course you do. And you expect me to believe that, I suppose. Louis, demon is just a word. Nah. It all depends on what exists beneath the surface. 
I understand that this isn't easy. The culture of men is centered on the fact that demons are responsible for all the evils on Earth. But if it's the same in every single culture, then maybe there might be something to it, don't you think? Certainly there is something to it. Control. Man has spent his existence wishing to believe in the supernatural and imposing his belief on others. What could be more convenient for manipulating the masses? A perfect, inaccessible being and a plethora of demons in every one. The perfect idea to relieve men of all responsibility while still finding them guilty. Go back. Why should I trust you? I'm not asking you to, Louis. If you are still in doubt about the demons, I can assure you that won't last long. What does that mean? But why me? Why do I tell you about the greatest secret ever revealed to man? It's... that's right. I'm coming to that. Don't worry. What has my mother got to do with all this? She embarked on a crusade many years ago to kill all the demons. That must have upset you. I imagine you retaliated. No. I'm afraid she never forgave me. Forgave what? We met when she was still just a young woman. I appeared to her in a different form because I didn't want to reveal the identity of Lord Mortimer at that time. She was looking for someone interested in the occult to decipher an ancient book. We spent many years together until I revealed my true nature to her. The old book was Alazif, wasn't it? Did she speak about it? Not so long ago, yes. Indeed, it was already Al-Azif. She wanted to unlock the secrets. What are the demon's projects for humanity? Our aim has long since been to protect humanity from itself. On the other hand, although we give them the impulse to succeed, we don't all agree as to the path they take to achieve it. How would you qualify your species? Scientifically. Hmm. Good question. What is your area of expertise? I can say any of these. I would say biology. So. I would class demons along with parasites. The comparison's not very flattering. You live inside a host and you feed on that host. Do you not? A large number of parasites are essential to the survival of their bearer, you know. We do indeed choose a host, we enter inside them, and we evolve with them. But if you prefer a more philosophical approach, or a more poetical one, consider us as an idea. We are an idea that penetrates the human spirit. But in fact, in no way are we a danger for our hosts. Quite the contrary, we strengthen them. Continue. Louis, it's time you opened your eyes. Come, you'll soon see. After you. <laughs> Did what happened to Elizabeth Adams have anything to do with you? Mm, unfortunately, the poor girl became an issue between us in spite of herself. A family of demons is still a family, and as in all families, there are disputes. Elizabeth's family, the Adams, has always been under the patriarchal control of my father. As he and myself are not really on very good terms, Sending poor Elizabeth here was terribly rude of him, really. You did accept, though? Mm, no, I would say rather I was presented with a fait accompli by Gregory and went along with the intention of helping her. But this is my castle, and everyone is the master of their own home. It was you who killed her. The child was already condemned, Louis. My father would never have let her be. I had to pass inside her mind and, yes, make her take her own life. 
trapped between the unyielding control of my father and your mother's terrible treatments? I wouldn't wish a life like that on anyone, would you? So neither my mother nor Peru were ever guilty. You just gave me the runaround with that whole investigation. Now don't take it the wrong way. I was obliged to keep up appearances so that Gregory wouldn't suspect me. And it enabled me to size you up, Louis. What a manipulator you are. So, Von Borchert, he was looking for the Alazif for you. Exactly. Alazif has always belonged to my family, Louis. And with good reason. My father wrote much of it. Can you tell me what you've done with... What? You mean the Alazif? No, I already know that. Sarah came here with it and got rid of it. I was thinking of Von Borchert. He isn't essential, but... He is a trusted person. He's a prisoner at our headquarters in Paris. All right. If you could manipulate us mentally, what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? You must suspect that we asked ourselves that very same question. For many centuries, we didn't organize any conferences. And most of the time, it ended in civil war between demons. Many of us were killed during this period. The idea of organizing conferences was the answer to everything. The interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wanted to propose a major change between these countries, they summon the demon in question and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates the proposition doesn't have to give notification of the subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once the humans are brought together, the conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. The first meeting is held in order to expose the subject to all the participants, followed by several days of reflection, during which we are allowed to be persuasive, but not to impose our will. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, for you it's a game. Isn't it? I understand your remark, but after living several centuries, you stand back and enjoy what reflection and pleasure you can. But how do you agree on global policy? Locally, we often have competing interests, and sometimes we start wars between men which are linked to our disagreements. Most of the time, our father steps in and gives directives, which my family follow to the letter. Indeed, in my opinion, it is high time we moved on. What do you mean? I mean that a new era must begin. The old monarchic regimes are outdated, and it's time to evolve. I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Not Come, really. I have something to show you. There... there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh, haven't you guessed yet? Conviction is not something that... I've got an idea, but it might seem stupid. Trust me. Am I one? I mean, am I a demon? Would you like that? No, I don't think so. I'm just a man and that's fine with me. Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You, as much as me. You are one of us, Louis. You too are a demon. Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you know I am telling you the truth. Where do you think that natural, charismatic presence comes from? Your talent must already have manifested itself somehow. Have you ever had any visions? No, stop it, it's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body without knowing why? No. Whilst asleep, maybe? That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I... to you. I, what do you mean? Louis, I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know, Sarah is not your mother. I, what? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis, 
but you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No. It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. I am saying it. Liar! Well, well. So now you're his bastard. You really took me for a fool. Don't make a move, you clowns. Everybody keep calm. Don't say a word or I'll shoot your kid. Uh, not so clever now, are we? At last I found a way to put the pressure on you, Mortimer. Look, just calm down, monsieur. You stopped me from ending it all. Because of you, I've had to pay for it. You don't know what it's like. He's in your head. He's in your soul. I never want to feel that again. Jack, I did not betray you. You're just like him. He's immune to that. Monsieur Pelu, I don't even know what this is all about. It's quite simple. You're like them. If that's enough to make me unforgivably evil, then I prefer you shoot. But I don't feel as if I've changed. I'm, I'm still the same man I was an hour ago. They will corrupt you. It's inevitable. And I won't be able to resist, like you are now? Uh, well... Give me the benefit of the doubt. Think about it a moment. So, what are you gonna do now? You've just found out your true nature. What difference does it make? Jack, I can assure you that what Lord Mortimer just told me makes no difference. That's what you think. But you're already in his hands, and you don't even know it, Louis. No, Jack, it's the contrary. Everything that's been happening here has been carefully planned by the Golden Order for months, and everything is going exactly as planned. Lower your weapon. It's all right. It's over. You'll make it through, and you're going to get your life back. You're just like him. You are already. You can't see it, or you don't want to see it. But it's already too late. In fact, I haven't got any choice. You always have a choice. You know very well what will happen to you if you shoot me. Jack, I'm the only one who can help you resolve the situation. I'm just asking you to trust me. I'm not against you. <laughs> it's over. Come now, Mr. You know what I told you. Evil and good depend on you, and not on your nature. Yes, it's true, and the same holds true for all of us. Monsieur Peru, I am willing to overlook this latest scene. You can thank my son for that. I think, however, that you ought to take your leave for your good and ours, as well as that of your daughter. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Not too shaken up. You've experienced many significant events since your arrival. To tell you the truth, I don't get much time to ask myself those questions. Quite right. Best not to react to all this too suddenly. Take some time to think about it all. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah, my son. You ought to talk things over with her. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain herself. You must clear the air. We'll have all the time we need to talk afterwards. But all in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. You hold immense power. I'm relaxing. It's already there, inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Just let me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. Hear my voice. Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been happening to you deep inside but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. 
It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. It's a sound, very, very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... Whispers, words, mixed voices. Mm. Focus on one of them. Don't be afraid. Hope he doesn't I, stab me in the face. I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I hear them. Now, now I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. I... Uh, what? You heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make them think about it. But... I'd be violating their minds, wouldn't I? No, no, nothing of the sort. You won't really be penetrating their psyches. Let's just say you'll be picking up residual signals emitted by oh, their thoughts. Well, that's, it that's isn't okay, then. at all. Rest assured, there are also a few rules you need to know that govern this talent when used between ourselves. You can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. It's considered bad form to play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear. What is most considered bad form is getting caught. So I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. Home? Yes, the old grump is touchy and rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Sarah, Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later, if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. Thought reading. You are now able to read, hear the superficial thoughts of your in interlocutors. For each use of mind reading, cost one essence point. You can earn one back when confronted confronted to an immunity, two by exploiting a vulnerability, and three by consuming a devil's thorn. Wow. I can read his mind. Boom. You're right. I need to go now. See you later, Lord Mortimer. One more thing. If you want to know the truth about your birth, ask her about Paris, 1763, at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. What? It's not that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf. Must go to wharf. Hey, I have a question. Can I get my hand back? Is there any way I can get my hand back by chance? An accident i'm sorry i didn't have a choice she attacked me i i didn't want to hurt her i mean i basically believe what you happened? i was on the wharf it was dark she seemed to be preparing to depart i moved closer i wanted us to talk but as soon as she saw me she threatened me i wanted her to explain to me in her own words what had happened to emma I had to know what happened, Louis. You understand that, don't you?
tell me exactly what happened. I told you. I was on the other side of the wharf when she arrived. I wanted to get closer. She was muttering to herself. She was hurling abuse at Lord Mortimer. When she saw me, she pulled out a pistol and pointed it at me. I'm so sorry. I'd like to be alone. Of course. I'm going up to the manor. Okay, I wanted to read her thoughts, but that didn't actually work. She was pointing to W and S. Yeah. She is, actually. Uh, uh. I could have saved her. Okay. Interesting. I could have saved her somehow. I don't know how. I guess I could have maybe... I knew I could have had a discussion, but I was supposed to rush. All right. Okay, we got some points. I mean, let's up our etiquette, I guess. I mean... Might as well get psychology up to, like, maximum levels, and then we'll slap something in our occultism, I guess. And then we'll read no books, because we have no books. We are out of books. The amount of books that we have is zero, so therefore we can't read them. We could read some again, but they won't let us do that. So, no books. 